Are you serious? Hello, welcome to another episode of How to Kill an Hour. I'm Marcus Bronzy. I'm Sean. And this is episode 69. Please see. Hey, come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah, man. This is a show where Sean and I, we scour the internet looking for funny things, jokes. We tell them to each other. We kill time playing some games and watching TV and some other bits, which we'll talk about as well. And we also like to talk to our lovely audience who is talking to us quite a lot as well. We've had some nice shouts come in. I want to say shout out to Sunny as well saying, Marcus and Sean, your jokes are getting cornier but you're still funny. Well, bro, this is episode 69, like I said. And I think every time it's you say- It's a backhanded compliment. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, we, we, we like that, Sonny. It's great, it's great. Um, any 69 puns off the top, Sean? Oh, no, no. Okay. Dinner for two, what? Hey! hey. hey. 68 and I'll owe you one. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's a level of maturity you're going to get from the show. Just put that out yeah. there. Or you can eat Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we've got another shout out from Neris. Yeah. Uh, oof, this is a bit of a long one. Uh, hey guys, thanks mm. for the shout out. Been catching up on the YouTube channel and I love what you do. I'm from South Africa. Big up South Africa. Yeah, I may have heard of us. We have, we have. Mm. We've won like four Rugby World Cups and have a UFC World Champ too. Oh, is it? Yeah, you just threw the brag in there, Neris. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and in brackets, they've heard, oh no, I'm not here to start trouble. <laughs> ah, we like a bit of trouble. So yeah, yeah, why not, why not? Uh, this might sound like an odd thing to say because of the language and adult humour, but you guys are quite wholesome. <laughs> Like, have you, I'm have not you sure, watching the same show? I'm not sure if you've been described as wholesome previously <laughs> or ever. Yeah, I'll take it. Like, it's good vibes. You're not full of yourselves and you're not angry, shouty podcasters. I like your spirit. You're having a laugh, sharing interesting stories and putting some thought-provoking ideas out there. It's really lovely. We're probably around the same age, born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, right? Thank so God. I get the references you make. The Queen's nose. Oi, oi. Yeah. That made its way to us too. Dean Kane and Terry Terry Hatcher. Yep. Superman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's your Superman, also, isn't it? Is also, that what you said? That's your That's my Superman. That's your Superman. That's what, yeah. Also, do you remember? Yes, sir, Dean Kane, sir. sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if anyone knows that everyone yes. knows that reference. Yes. Uh, uh Terry Hatcher. Uh, yep. That's who I visualise when someone talks about Superman and Lois Lane. Yes, mm, Neris. Okay, nice. Yes, right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. Don't agree with Marcus over here. This is, who's your one again? I think I said Henry Cavill's my favourite Superman. I don't know, man. We have to edit that out or something. <laughs> <laughs> the combos you have are kind of like the combos that I have with my brother and friends. Uh, and that is kind of because you're my friend and brother. So oh. that's where it comes oh, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like the nicest thing I've ever said. Yeah, man. <laughs> Chill out. To balance the books now in the episode, I'm, uh, I don't only <laughs> dread what you're going to say. Plus, you know, fucking <laughs> out. I'm still trying to figure, figure out why our generation hasn't really grown up. <laughs> we have jobs, careers, responsibilities, but there's still that inner child that likes to play around and be a bit goofy. That is very, very true. We Sean and I are the kind of guys goofy. that, will, yeah, we would be in a very respectable venue sipping on a cocktail. You may be having something. What's that one that you like, the Brazilian one? So, was it a South American one that you liked? Mm, I mean, I do like a like a, caipir, um, a, a cap mojito. Yeah, Caprinha. Caipirinha. Caipirinha, yeah. And I might be sipping like a, a, a martini, vodka, real talk, uh, in an established venue. And I'm just saying, some one of our friend group might get hit with a coaster <laughs> out of nowhere. I'm not going to lie. Every, every time you would think, oh, it looks like a group of adults, we will purposely lower the tone. So you're like, ah, yeah, no, they're, they're yeah. born in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riff raff, innit? A lot of the time we left venues, it's like, nice of you to leave. I mean, nice to, <laughs> nice to see you. Anyway, sorry, sorry. You're doing all my shout out. Um, Dave said, anyway, I feel good when I listen to you guys and in this world where there is so much that is so bad, please know that you're doing something good. Keep it up. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, there love we go. The, yeah, yeah. Loving the energy. Peace yeah. and love, uh, Neris. It's pronounced like it rhymes with Ferris. Oh, so you did it right. Neris. Yeah, Neris. Neris. Oh, that was, shout out, Neris. That was a, that was a lovely, lovely message. That it was, was a lovely message. A lovely message. Appreciate you. you. Yeah. Um, so now we've got all that pressure, man. I don't know. Oh, sure, we better geez. crack on. But at least, crack on at least the show. people know that they're not expecting uh, us to suddenly be grown ups or adults. Because that is a trap at the end of the day, right? Whenever one of us starts doing something really adulty, like paying bills. We just apologize. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just call <laughs> out just the like, other like, one. Uh, bro, uh, I've, yeah, got, I've got to let you know yeah, I, paid, I paid my bill on time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. man. I, yeah. Yeah, man. I, d I just, I did, I did 
ironing the laundry on a Saturday night. We're like, what? <laughs> you got to do something mega goofy after yeah, that, innit? Yeah. Just to balance the books. Do you it? think we'll ever stop being goofy? Because we, apparently we were meant to grow out of it, but I can see us laughing at the same stuff mm. that we did at high school, Sean. Science. Science lessons at school <laughs> were absolute pandemonium. Mm. Yeah. Also, Goofy has a little bit of a, sl- a slight in, in the, in like, on roads, Goofy's mm. got a slightly different meaning to like, you're like goofing about, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, this brother's hella goofy, isn't yeah, it? Like, goofy, <laughs> it's kind of goofy and bookie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I don't think, no, I don't think No, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with no. Also, do you think that you'll ever... Do you think like, it would be like 60 and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to play a bit of this video game? 100%. Yeah. 100%. percent do There's like a, there's a squad of COD players that are all like over 60 and they're absolutely amazing. I think because some of the games are getting really real as well. There's like veterans, I've snipers. Seen, oy, I've seen some of the old veterans. Sometimes some of them get a little bit too excited with some of the headshots. So you're like, yeah, man. Ooh, chill out, bro. Chill yeah, man. But, like, but it is... Uh, absolute machines. But yeah, man, I think I'll always be goofing around, man. I think it's just... It's part of me now, isn't it? Like, if I, I want to be playing, like, I was about to say FIFA, EA Sports sixty two or it'll, something. It'll be, it might be Microsoft Football by then. Microsoft <laughs> oh. might buy it. Microsoft Football Dead buys name. it, and we just crack Microsoft up. Football <laughs> thirty two. That's what we'll be playing. Thirty two. Listen, you're talking to two oh. guys that used to play ISS. ISS. Back in the day, man. But I had, bro. The first football game I ever had was Sensible Soccer. Oh, yeah. on, the, on the original Nintendo and I shout out if you ever played that game what a, what a game right so it's top view yeah that was it and what happens is when you kick it and the ball goes in the air the ball just gets bigger and, it just gets bigger. <laughs> yeah. and, and also no but it's the noises yeah. it used to go boop boop like <laughs> Quality. That was good. Quality. And one game that combined off a love of foolishness and football I don't know how good it would be to play now, but was it Red Card? Red Card, oh Red Card God, was a game where it was designed for you to literally do the funkiest... It was designed for us to just foul each other and smash each other I'm, up. Okay, I, I, this is just reminding me of something, right? Very yeah. quickly. Um, someone, I was, I was having a chat the other day and someone was asking me about like what sports I played in secondary, right? Yeah. And then I um, was going through them and I was like, everything apart from rugby, because like when I used to get the ball to rugby, anyone anyone that I used to nutmeg during football would come for me. Yeah? Yes. So I was, it was like a hot potato. I was yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to get rid of it. Yeah. And I still remember the time, yeah, where I hit a home run, yeah, and I was doing my <laughs> victory lap. <laughs> I was doing my victory lap, probably celebrating prematurely, but I, like, the ball was gone, in it? I was there, I was thinking, oh yeah. And this <laughs> idiot... <laughs> comes out of nowhere and sly tackles the shit out of me and I was <laughs> fucking airborne. <laughs> ah. I, remember, I, I remember wiping out, yeah, and I will say this. I, I didn't take it in good spirits. <laughs> I just turned around and I was like, you bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, phew. I think I was getting revenge for when... um. We were playing a similar game. I think it was some game that we played at school called German Long Ball. I think it's oh, a, Hastings. Man yeah, like Mr. Hastings. Hastings. Yeah, he, <laughs> it was Bulldog, innit? Or something like that. But it was his own remix of it because he was very proud of his German heritage, wasn't he? So he called it German Long Ball. And um, I, I, the one rule was you can't <laughs> throw the ball anywhere. I think it's below the shoulder, above the shoulders, didn't count. Yeah, above the shoulders. And, and I, I swear to God, I, was, I think I was walking. And <laughs> You spun around and laced a tennis ball and it hit me right in my left eye. <laughs> so maybe it was revenge for that. Sounds I can't right. believe we did that Sounds stuff. Right. If we did that to each other now, one of us would be in hospital each time round. Like, if I got like a tennis ball in the eye right now, I'd be in, I'd be in emergency <laughs> services. But my injury record, yeah. I, I would have broken like three legs. And yeah. like... <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Right, anyway, on that note, should we get on to our jokes? Of the week. A priest, a rabbi, and an atheist walk into a bar. The bartender points at a sign that says, no jokes served here, and asks them to leave. They head out without a word. The next day, a horse walks in. Same deal, the bartender points at a sign, and with a long face, the horse leaves. The following day, a chicken walks in. The bartender points to the sign and says, sorry, no joke served here. The chicken's annoyed, but goes, fine, where can I get a drink? The bartender replies, there's a bra, there's a bar across the road. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which punchline's punchline funnier. The bra. The bra's across. 
There's a bar across the road. There's a brass across the road. <laughs> 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 oh, well there you go that's a nice little <clears throat> joke in a joke uh, okay a man lost his wife in the supermarket the man approached a very beautiful woman in the large supermarket and asked you know I've lost my wife here in the supermarket do you mind talking to me for a couple of minutes the woman replied uh, why because every time I talk to a beautiful woman my wife appears out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> Smart, mate. True. Smart logic. <laughs> right. A man walks onto the campus of Yale University. He walks up to a student and asks, Where's the bathroom at? The student replies haughtily, Here at Yale, we're taught not to end a sentence with a preposition. The man, realizing his terrible, unforgivable mistake, corrects himself, I'm sorry. Where's the bathroom, asshole? <laughs> Uh, haughtily. Yeah. Is, is, that, it, is that right? Am I saying it wrong? Is it haughtily? No, no. I've just, I, I know of the word, but I, I wouldn't have actually. I wouldn't actually be able to define it um, for you previously. <laughs> in this, is that what in, I think it yeah, is? In, in, yeah. In, in, that's, that's the. Was that say? Was that haughty? Can you do a haughty? What would the haughty? Haughty. Haughtily. A haughtily thing be. Haughtily. Haughtily. Yeah. What would it be? Uh, I don't know. It just sounds a bit. It sounds like um, hmm. tough nosed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, it just reminds me of a uh, scary, scary movie. movie. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to watch that again. That was, yeah, Halloween's coming. So we could, oh, we could do, we could do a little session where we watch, watch them. Okay. Why not? Watch, watch them. Where? Yeah, watch, watch them. Right. A wife arrived home after a long shopping trip and was horrified to find her husband in bed with a young, lovely thing. Just, just as she was about to storm out of the house, her husband stopped her with these words. Before you leave, I want you to hear how this all came about. Driving home, I saw this young girl looking poor and tired. I offered her a ride. She was hungry, so I brought her home and I fed her some of the roast you'd forgotten about in the refrigerator. Her shoes were worn out, so I gave her a pair of your shoes you didn't want because they were out of style. She was cold, so I gave her that new birthday sweater you never wore even once because the colour didn't suit you. Her slacks were worn, so I gave her a pair of yours that you don't fit into anymore. Then, as she was about to leave the house, she paused and asked, Is there anything else that your wife doesn't use anymore? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> 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 I love that. That's a classic. All right. Three men in a hotel in Soviet Russia. The first two men open a bottle of vodka while the third is tired and tries to go to bed. He's unable to sleep, however, as his increasingly drunk friends tell political jokes very loudly. After a while, the tired man gets frustrated and walks downstairs for a smoke. He stops in the lounge and asks the receptionist to bring tea to their room in five minutes. The man then walks back into the room, joins the table, leans over to the power outlet and speaks into it. Comrade Major, we'd like some tea to room 62, please. His friends laugh at the joke until there's a knock at the door. The receptionist brings in a teapot. His friends fall silent and pale, horrified of what they've just witnessed. The party is dead and the man goes to sleep. After a good night's rest, the man wakes up and notices his friends are gone. Surprised, he walks downstairs and asks the receptionist where they went. The nervous receptionist whispers that the KGB came and took them before dawn. The man is horrified. He, he wonders why he was spared. Well, says the receptionist. Comrade Major, quite like your tea joke. <laughs> uh, <sighs> <sighs> All right, I've got a couple of short ones now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big up the uh, big up mate of Sam who uh, gave me this one. Big All up right. Sam. What do you get when you push a piano down a mine shaft? I don't know. What do you get? A flat minor. No. <laughs> it's painful. I can a, see the cogs are turning and I got there in the end. That is. And also A minor. <laughs> so right, that's good. I've got some some short ones right. as well. Back to back. My wife asked if sex is a chore to her. Not really, she replied. Chores make me feel satisfied afterwards. Oh, savage. <laughs> what do you call a Mexican that has his car stolen? I don't know. What do you? call him Carlos <laughs> so bad <laughs> I like it 
I don't know how I end up with weirdos for my first date. Like for the most recent one, for example, I was at a fancy restaurant and everything was going so well. But right before we started eating, she out of the blue asked me to have sex with a short girl. To be exact, she said, bon appetit. So I had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so bad it's good uh, oh. <laughs> I have not heard of any derivative of that one before okay arguing with my husband he told me that men are far better at multitasking than women so I told him to sit down and shut up and he just couldn't do either <laughs> A young man who has never had a proper job finally gets one as a doorman at a nice hotel. On his first day, he arrives in uniform, all nervous and serious. He opens the door, greets some guests and visitors with a smile, closes the door behind them, and does that admirably all day long. In the afternoon, something weird happens. A single bathroom basin standing on a short support column with a hot water tap and a cold water tap and no apparent source of plumbing appears outside the door. Nervous, the new doorman approaches his manager. What should I do, he asks. It's just standing there. The manager looks at him gravely, sternly in his eyes, but with a little bit of wisdom in his voice, he says, young man, I know this is your first real job and things may be a bit overwhelming for you, but some things, they're simpler than they seem. He nods towards the door. You have a responsibility now. Let that sink in. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, I Sean. It. I love it. It's out of nowhere, it. but it's, oh man. I was... I, I was I was attempting to try and um, yeah. extrapolate to where that was going to come yeah. to. That's not where you, I got. You try, it's, yeah. I love it when they're like yeah. that, innit? Yeah. When they just ding ding come out of nowhere and and, and swing. That's a classic, though. That's that a classic. Is, that is. A son tells his father, "I have an imaginary girlfriend." The father sighs and says, "You know, you could do better." Thanks, Dad. Says the son. The father shakes his head and goes, "I was talking to your girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good you know, one. Legitimately, yeah. Yeah. that is a conversation. That, <laughs> that's a Marcus. That's exactly what we like. Did you know that having too much sex can lead to memory loss? Do you know that? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know that too much sex can lead to memory loss? I read that in Men's Sexual Health Magazine, Volume 6, Issue 17, page 71 on August the 24th, 2015 at 8.46am. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It's a good one. I like it. It's a classic. And yeah. there you go. Have you got another one for us? Mm, yeah, I've got, I've got one. Okay. Got one. Jesus was walking around heaven one day in a small secluded garden. He's, oh, there you go, Jesus walking around heaven one day. In a small secluded garden, he saw an old man crying. Alarmed, Jesus ran up to him and said, Hey, now, what's all this? This is paradise. There should be no tears or sorrow. The old man wiped away his tears and said, Oh, I know, I'm sorry, but, well, many years ago, a son came to me through, well, let's just say, mysterious circumstances. After many trials, he went through a miraculous transformation, and a book was written about him that became known the world over. I thought I would find him here, but I haven't. I'm afraid I'll never see him again. Why died? Jesus looked at the man and said, Wait, wait a minute. You weren't by any chance a car carpenter, were you? The man looked up in surprise. Why, yes. Yes, I was. Jesus burst into tears of joy and held out his arms saying, Father. The man cocked his head doubtfully and said, Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. I feel like I love that we've joke. done we have. some sort of rendition of that before, but it's, it's so, so nice. Good. You've got to do it twice. <laughs> anyway, right. So there you go. Those were our jokes of the week. I mean, week. Neris, the corny levels were high. Yeah. They were high. Oh, no, man. it was Sunny that said that. It was Oh, man, sorry. Man yeah, it was Sunny. Sunny. Sorry, Neris, you gave us bail up. <laughs> uh, time to step onto our part of the show. We talk about how we've killed a bit of time. I've got loads of stuff to talk about have to you? dip in and out of Sean. How I'm about yourself? so boring, you know. Yeah, I have got. I've just got no life, man. Okay, really? no, nah, you have got a life, but you just haven't been up to much, no? no I haven't been up to anything, anything ma ma majorly exciting. Okay, cool. Mm. You're doing that adult in thing, then, aren't you? You're gonna have to sort that out. Oh, sorry, I said what? Sorry, no, this no, is sorry. a little, um, no, 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 a little bad. reach into into our personal lives. Mm. We are currently in the process on WhatsApp of trying to plan a boys' trip. We are. Every year we get together. <laughs> We've spoken about some of these boys on the pod before. Um, our boys done the poll. 
Our boys he, have done he, a poll. He, he always does. He the always poll. does the poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your one friend yeah. who always does the poll. I've not. Have you? Have you? I've not clicked on the poll yet. Have you? Bro, I'm, I, I'm, I, I re- you, you, you do remember that I'm the worst person yeah. at ever responding to anything in any group. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or just in general. <laughs> just generally. <laughs> just yeah, generally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So I realised that already there's a discrepancy because we spoke about some different dates. Then we've launched a new group for just the trip, which we bring back every year. And the date that I said I could do is not in the poll. So, <laughs> and then there was one that they were like, "Oh, after I've done this poll, I've also realised I can't do this date because it's Diwali." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just put in time that I can't be there. There might have to be a do-over. I th- I don't think we're going to go overseas. You know, I think we're going to stay in the UK. Would you reckon? Because I might, think we it's might, so late. We might have a we might have a, a bridging from abroad. A visitor. A visitor. Yeah. I was thinking, I mean, listen, if you guys want to get involved and let us know where's good to go in the UK for a quick little like trip, like we like somewhere where there's a bit of stuff to do and maybe some scenery. Well, I'm thinking. Wait, hold could, on a minute. What, what, when have we ever gone and looked at scenery? We have, not it? Like, you know. On the way to. To the pub. What? <laughs> <laughs> on, on, the way, on the way to whatever it is we're going to go and do. Oh, that I, nice. don't, I don't feel like, yeah. yeah. We, I, I would say this, isn't it? every now and again for about three minutes. We, we, we become cultured yes and, and then we quickly shake it off and then yeah just yeah carry on. we did it last time we all, i think we went we saw some like was it like an old church grounds or something like that and we walked there was some like old oh, nice yeah, building yeah, and we yeah. all stepped in for like five minutes and yeah, went, where was that yeah i can't i'm sure i can't remember no that wasn't that, that was in uh that was in romania yeah that was it yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, i couldn't be bothered last enough so. did you <laughs> you're like oh, that's a bit much for me i was like yeah, nah, i'm not really i forget that cool. yeah yeah yeah, um, <laughs> yeah we stepped in just had a look for like five minutes like this is nice Pub, yeah, <laughs> straight off of some beers. Um, so yeah, Sean, kill Bro, a bit. Yeah, go on. So go no, on. I was gonna say yeah, yeah. I, I haven't done, um, I haven't done um, anything really of uh, of, no, of this week. But I'm intrigued yeah. as to hear what you have been up to. I, I got loads to tell you about. But Sean, I was just saying, say, why don't we do something like Scotland or Ireland or something? That's close. Yeah, Ireland would be good. Oh, we should we should go to Ireland. Should we do Ireland? And yeah. if if we end up, depending on when we go, if we end up going in December time. It's very Christmassy there, you know. Super warm as well. Yeah, boiling hot. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got an update for you at the end of our killer bits, but I'll get from uh, through these games. I played Astrobot. There's a new Astrobot game that came out on PlayStation. Um, and I've realised that PlayStation have manoeuvred themselves into a position where they now have... This is the closest I think they have to their own like Mario. Do you know what I mean? Astrobot. Now, it's a, it's a platformer game. you like jumping around, kind of like... Crash, oh, Crash Bandicoot is also PlayStation. But yeah, like... Think, <laughs> um, booga. Booga, booga. <laughs> that as well. um, yeah, so um, basically a platformer game, but what's cool about it is it kind of, it uses all of the, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it when you turn a control pad and it reacts to it? Like when I turn the control pad, you can see a 3D rendition of the control pad in the game as well. Should know this. Do you know what I mean? Like, Should really know yeah. this. Yeah. And all of the advanced vibrating it does. Do you know what I mean? Motion uh, sensors. Motion, motion sensors. sensors. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, and the advanced vibrating and stuff like Haptic feedback. Haptic feedback as well. And um, and also like the onboard control what, what, speaker. What, um, what are you playing it on? What um, Play, PS5. So it's come out. New, yeah, new game PS5, Astro Bot. It's basically just a fun, all round fun game to play. And it does get quite challenging, but it's kind of like, it's really nice because you, every level you get to every world you get to i won't get into the story of the world but every world you get to there's like little add-ons and stuff so you might have long arms spring arms you might be able to float or fly and it's just a fun game plus you always when you play you collect old bits of playstation and stuff so you kind of see old playstation yeah, and nostalgia. Media, loads of nostalgia and like astro bot is a kind of robot but then there's other robots as well there's like a papa the rapper papa the rapper looking robot there's like a metal gear robot there's all that kind of stuff so just a fun game to play um so you can play around a family pass the control pad over to other people. It's kind of... It's, it's, one, it's a one player though, yeah? One player game, yeah, yeah. Uh, fun little game, if I'm honest. And it kind of shows what a PlayStation can do as well. Because I think there was a version of Astro Bot, or was it Sackboy that came out? I think was, there was an Astro Bot game that came out when the PS5 first dropped. Uh, and they're just fun, they're just fun, chill games to play. Another one to get into quickly is Funko Fusion. Do you know what Funkos are? What, are we talking about the... Yeah, 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 the, the, the pop figures. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Have I spoken about it already? Or did I speak I mean, to you? might have mentioned it to me, but also I remember because my um, a figure got made of my sister before oh, when she did that's heavy. Yeah, Shadow and Bone, isn't it? That's, that's sick. Have you got, have, she got it, yeah? I think so. I I mean, she, sent, she sent me a picture of, when she went to a yeah. fan convention, she sent me a picture of one that's previously. Heavy. I was like, oh, that's, that's bad. Heavy. <laughs> Super quick digression. I reckon the best place to put something like that, because if you have something like that, I'd be like upset if you don't put it in a braggadocious place. Now, 
This is, uh, I think, yeah. My sister's not very braggadocious. I know, so but you, my sister's su super. Yeah, but you got to gas it sometimes, man. It's, come on, big show that she's on, isn't it? Like, um, I think it's Mo Gilligan, the comedian. He's, I think he puts, has, he might have a picture of, or his BAFTA is in the loo <laughs> downstairs at his house. Oh, is so it? So when you go to the toilet, you turn around. If you sit down or whatever, if you stand up, I don't know where it is, but you have <laughs> to see the BAFTA. I'd put the Funko somewhere like that. Do you know, like, I'd put it on top of the TV. In front, oh, do you know what that is? Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's a, I, just, I must have just left it there yeah, earlier yeah. On, on the thing that I've hung up there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> or put it in front of the TV so it's in the way. I'll just move that Funko yeah, of me yeah, out of yeah. the way. Oh, sorry about it. It's always, yeah. it's that thing. It's, it's got a mind of its own, yeah. just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you want to me to tell you a bit more about it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't ask about it. No, let me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Might as well just play it on Netflix and watch it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Might as well. Um, so Funko Fusion, the guys behind the Lego games. Do you ever played the Lego games? I've like played little bits of them, and and what I did play of them were quite. I think I played um, a little bit of Lego Batman and I think Harry Potter at one point yeah, or something yeah. like that. They're just fun, in it, they're fun and they're really well yeah, put yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they've got some of the team behind them to work with the guys at Funko. So I think it's Telltale Games. I believe it is. I might be wrong. Allow me. TT Games, TT Games, whatever. Um, so yeah, they they basically created a Funko game, and they're using loads of the IP from uh it's a lot of warner brothers stuff in there um so it was the thing was a world in there uh and i can't remember anything else but but basically they've created an environment where you are playing through scenarios from games and do it now it's a fun little game but it's new and i think they're trying to go up head to head with the lego games but the one thing that i've seen so far and what i've played in it from confusion the one thing that i like if they can fix this it might be let too late in the day is there's no dialogue this Lego games have really good dialogue. Like, have you like they'll take the script and tweak it a little bit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you appreciate that. It's a bit like um, I don't know if you played uh, like Witcher before, and yeah. you had like the the bed bard, the bard, mm. bed bard, bard, yeah, bard, bard. 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 And like some of the <clears throat> some of the dialogue was just great. Yeah, like going yeah. through it was super funny. Like, yeah, man. So it's a shame they didn't have it in there. But okay. playing a bit of that. So I, I just I the reason I don't remember the other stuff is I just played the thing level, which was quite challenging. If I'm on big, there one thing I will give it massive game. Okay, like you yeah. could probably sync up from me. Like you got you could sync 40, 50 hours into it. I reckon. You could. Okay. So, so oh, we, it's we still, if we're still on video games, mm -hmm. yeah. then I will. I'll jump in. Yeah. Ding, ding. Because <laughs> I, I, um, yeah, I played the new, I, pl I played quite a bit of the new, the new EA Sports 25 FC. Sh Sean, no. you know how like old I, I, people, I, I, I struggle to call it. My, my dad would probably call everything Nintendo in it. Are you playing Nintendo? Bro, shall I just call it pros? Call it pro. Pros from back. Call it, pros, bro. <laughs> call it ISS. <laughs> ISS. Um, it's like how, you know, people say X or Twitter, but lots of people still say Twitter, they don't yeah, want to call it yeah, X. Yeah. Sean, you call, call it, just call it FIFA, bro. Yeah, we get it. Up. When Sean says FIFA, he means EA 20... EA Sports. Is it 25? FC 25. 25. What's it saying? Um, it's a good game. It, 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 it's, it's definitely, like, it's definitely very different. They have introduced, they've, like, what they tried to do was, they tried to introduce a little bit of championship manager into it, which I'm very much about, because, mm. um, although, from what I saw early, what, what I saw previously, I expected like a little bit more. So they were like, oh, you can, for instance, you can, ch you know, choose where your players are at corners. Okay. What it actually does is it gives you three positions, mm. like front post, near mm. post, target man, and you get to choose those three roles. So you, it's not like you can, you know, you can set everybody up where That's you would like them to. Yeah. So like a um, massive wall right in front of the <laughs> where the yeah, corner's yeah, being taken yeah. like why not yeah. um, goalkeeper out of position on the halfway line yeah <laughs> you I mean, can't why do not that. you yeah. should be able to do that um, there are some okay so the things that I feel are a little bit annoying are they've done this new thing so previously you could have your let's say you picked a 4-4-2 We'll go back. Oh, let's say four, three, three, four, three, three. You could then move any of the players slightly out of position, and mm. you could change what their role was. So, if they were, if you had someone as a right winger, you could like move them slightly, and you could change them to like a right attacking midfielder, and yeah. that would change their roles. And also, different players have are better at playing at certain positions and certain roles. So this one, they've they've gone more in depth in it, and then people you can choose different. Like you can actually choose roles now. Um, the problem is, is that whatever the formation is that you pick, you can't now move someone from a right winger to a right attacking midfielder. They're just, or into a right midfielder slot. You can't, that's it. So if you, so now if you have the whole team, but like you have a player who is actually 
world class at right wing, but at right midfield, they're playing out of position. That's going to massively affect you, and you mm. can't change it. Mm. So I felt, and also I felt it really annoying because I was playing with Spurs, being a Spurs fan. Sorry about that. Apologies to everybody. Um, I had Hyung and Son playing left wing, and the game's telling me he can't play here. He's out of position. It just tells you no. It, no, he, he can still play yeah, there, but it's yeah. going to massively affect his AI. So all the runs that he makes, the way that he interacts with the rest Doesn't of the work. team, I'm like, but that's where he plays in real life. Oh, seen. So it's like, and so when I went to look at what positions they put him as, they put him as him as like he's like world class as a like second striker. So I'm like, okay, he's played some football as a second striker, you know, it, it, but he plays out on the left wing. 99% of the time and therefore like those yeah. bits where it seems like they were like trying to open it up they've actually done the opposite that, that sounds like a bit of a big I don't think a patch could fix that you know I think it's kind of fundamental I mean what I can it do is like a, if, if, I, if I wanted to go if I wanted to play offline mm -hmm. I can then go into and edit Sonny's player mm. and then I can move I can actually change his position yeah but I don't I'm, I haven't done that so I don't know so for instance you have a player you can play it, it, we, let's say you put you put him at right mid it'll come up with an exclamation mark and be mm. like this player's roles have been simplified because he's playing out of position oh, and you're like all right cool and then you move into a, a position that he actually plays in and it will you either have normal you have a plus or you have plus plus and plus plus is like world class yeah you know, not that many uh, players have that um so from a tactical perspective like Thumbs up a little bit, but then like there's other Thumbs bits which I found a little bit annoying. I will also say, for whatever reason, FIFA have still not fixed the fact that, bruv, if we sat down here to play FIFA, yeah, and I've done my controls as first player, yeah, it is really difficult for you to oh. join and play with different controls because we play different. We play the alternate controls, don't yeah. we? We play whatever. The but it just all, it just gets popping up, going. You need to sign in. You need to have another active profile to save your controller changes. So I was like, this is long. So what I had to do was I had to download my profile onto my friend's X Xbox, sign in as that on the second player, and it still didn't work. But I had to then figure out, and I've done it for every single FIFA. I had to figure out the way to do it. And when I mean figure out the way to do it on previous games, turn this control on, go back to the main menu, turn both of them on, sign in as the same profile, go into the game, try this, try that. And on this one, if anybody has any issue with being able to play with their mates and playing on different controls, you have to, all, you have to almost like sign in as the second profile as the first one. And then right at the last minute, you have to put, no, I don't want to override this profile. Oh my god. And days. then it will and then it will kick in so that you can actually play with different controls. But it took me it took me like half an hour of like fiddling around to try it. But it's, it's ridiculous. That's, that's anyway. a good hearty gameplay time. What about the actual footy? Gameplay. Sean, the actual footy. Gameplay. The game's slower, but I think that's a positive because you can be more purposeful. Um they've gone a little bit OTT with like the way that people's shorts and tops move. Now the they they're like they bounce around like too much even on the screen at the beginning where you're look, you're like choosing your kits the guy's like kind of like doing like a little kind of jog on the spot or whatever and his t-shirt and shorts are like going all over the place there's like two it's, kids fighting under a blanket it's a bit, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit too much to be honest. Yeah. they were like oh this is sick they, they pushed it a little bit too much um, gameplay itself like I I uh, I, I enjoyed it. It was it was definitely different enough to the previous one. Uh, defending, I believe, has definitely improved. One thing that's ma that has majorly improved is your collective defending. Like previously, you weren't controlling a player, and he will be like your defensive midfielder, or your defender, and my man's just standing there, like or like moves out the wrong way. Whereas this one, it, it was more difficult. Uh, to score, and I feel like you have a bit more control in your defense. You feel a little bit more secure than okay. probably going to concede twelve, yeah. you know, or whatever. Is um, it is it kind of still in a place where you need to you get the best out of the game if you learn all the controls and do the tutorials? Because I think the days of just picking up and playing are gone now. Oh, I don't like, know. I've, I mean, I haven't done that. Really, I haven't done that since like. I probably haven't done that since the first time I picked in like 08 when I picked up. FIFA. Are you serious? Yeah, I have yeah. to go through and get a refresher on like how to do a pass. And I all that see kind of prior stuff. prior to. Prior to the game coming out, I will look at the new things that they've introduced. And so there are some new things which will take me like a whole year to try and... Mm. So for instance, they move from tactical defending to advanced defending. Mm. I'm that 
I still play with it, but um, it just hasn't cemented in my brain yet. Seen, seen. Yeah. But overall, yeah. where are we at with it? No, overall, thumbs up. Overall, thumbs up. Overall okay, thumbs up. Cool. Um, yeah, it's good fun. All right, we, might, we should jam a couple of games, man. Um, super quick update as well, Sean. Um, ding, ding, when I step in the step ring. Step in the ring. Undisputed. Um, I've been playing a bit more of it, you know. It's got, I've got the bug. You got sucked in. Slow progress is what I've had. Um, and I'll be real with you listeners, like, as as well as Sean. I mean, I said it off mic well, before we recorded, but I'll, I'll be honest about my experience with the game. I'm not very good at boxing games, and this isn't this isn't Street Fighter. You're you're you get tired, isn't it? Like you can't just spam uppercuts and spam punches. So I, I it's had very, to, it's very purposeful, isn't it? Yeah, with purpose, you have to do everything. Composure with purpose. is is rewarded. Yes, it, it t- taking your time is rewarded picking as well. Shots. You're picking your shots, all that stuff. Hit and don't be hit. Exactly. <laughs> I, like yeah. So I went back and I redid the tutorial. And I started using the joysticks instead. Okay. So much. It makes so much sense now. For it real. just feels like I can, I'll still fuck up sometimes, but I can be like jab, straight, left hook, right hook. All right. I want to do an uppercut. I can at least, even when I, when I mess up, right. I, I know why I'd messed up. Or if I'm like trying, I know I'm before I would just be overwhelmed and feel like I'm drowning. But now I, at least if I get beaten, I can be like, okay, he got you with this. You need to block more, jab more. Okay. And stuff. I just feel like, in a like, I love the granular stuff, and I know you kind of has to focus on the training and stuff. But maybe if they could make it a bit easier, a bit more guided with how we develop your team throughout it, that would be great. Um, but I get it. The more you, you kind of like that, um, a bit arcade, more bit more arcadey. Yeah, but maybe I should could get that with exhibition fights. Maybe mm. I could just pick a pick a couple of boxes and go for it. But um, yeah, like we won't bang on about it too much because I feel like I feel like I'm going to talk about it again. <laughs> I feel like yeah, I feel like it's the game that might have me for a little while, man. Especially it's when it drops on reacher. exactly when it drops on consoles. Yeah. We'll take it. I mean, the guys behind Undisputed, they're going to love us. But yeah, I'm genuinely. I, I'm I, it, I this is the thing, right? We we all played the boxing games back in the day, yeah. and it's been such a such a long time yeah. since I've really. I don't understand why. It does, it, there's there's two there's two games, boxing games mm. and Splinter Cell. Yeah, right? why so long, bro? This is the maddest thing. Did you did you clock right? I'm going off going completely off tangent here, but um, they're releasing a se- a Splinter Cell series on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think it's on yeah, Netflix. Splinter Cell on another. There's another bit of game lore as well, like or an, another. I clock. Uh, sorry, I, didn't, I haven't clocked. Yeah, yeah there's, there's another, another there's one. Another. There was like a double release. I can. Should we have? Yeah, have a look. Yeah. But this is the thing, right? I was like, that's it's a strange one, right? They're gonna they're making a. They're making a series about a game that they haven't released since like 2013, I'm going to say. Yeah. I mean, prior to that, um, I, I I think it's Splinter Cell was a Tom Clancy book. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's a Splinter Cell and something else. Geeked Week, they did it. Uh, it was a Geeked Week. Uh, I can't find it, but it's a, look, we'll talk about it when they come, when we come out. Probably even watch them. Speaking of Netflix, though, mm. and I really want to say this next bit quick. I'm sorry, Sean. This is not Netflix. This is Apple TV. I may have watched accidentally a couple of episodes of of uh, Slow Horses. Oh, is it? Just, you, you just accidentally. You just they were just they came on and you were like, oh, I can't. I father, the remote, the batteries are dead. Yeah, oh. and my eyes wouldn't close. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, get, it gets better, bro. It's a good one. And there's, do you know about some of the big hitting actors that are in it as well, like the guest actors? Do you know? Who's nah, in don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for me. All right, cool. Now there's there's like a, a couple of actors when you yeah. see them, you'll be like, yes. I like. Okay. One actor who okay. I think, if I remember right, you would. Am I a fan? Iconic performance that most people know of our generation. Most people know. Amazing. Um, I mean, I am intrigued. Though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Netflix though. Um, wait, wait, how, how many episodes did you watch? There's five out at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> you watched all five, didn't you? You pussy old. <laughs> Did you watch that? <laughs> I was, it was, it was me going, yeah, I'm just going to watch them every week. And you were like, nah, uh, yeah. nah I can't do it. I'm going gonna, gonna to wait. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'll do the same. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait from that. Oh, I is promise. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only like two, there's how, how two many, more left. I can't like, wait. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, Sean, but here's what I'm going to give you. Though. I'll give you this as a, as, a, as a sorry, yeah. A show on Netflix called Rebel Ridge. Yeah, it's got Aaron Pierre in it. Amazing UK actor over there. I don't know Aaron Pierre. It, it, him up. Bruv, he's a good looking dude, you know. One of them good looking brothers. Yeah. Good acting. Aaron Pierre. Definitely hench. See this, Donnie. I'll read out what the what the show is about. Uh, it is oh this dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A former marine grapples his way through a web of small town corruption when an attempt to post bail for his cousin escalates into a violent standoff with the local police chief. All That's about, right, boy. All about that. It's got Jack Reacher energy, bro. 
uh, just yeah. From the from the blurb that you've given me, I'm like, yes. Yeah. Um watch that. Absolutely smacks it in it. It's great. My only thing is is I feel like it it, it was quite an abrupt ending. But yeah. Is what it is. Left everyone wanting more. There's talks of them trying to they may, they may, might do another one as well, they're saying off the back of it. Okay. If they never did one again, be a great film. But yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. Um and that's yeah, that's kinda of how I've been killing time. That's my how I've been killing time this week, Sean. And that's how you've been killing time as well. I think it's time for us to get out of here. Thank you for everyone who's been firing over jokes to me and Sean, uh, to read out in our punishment episodes. Uh, there's we've got a, one of those. There's a, there's a few of them that will sneak into the um jokes after dark. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to work out where we're gonna distribute these after dark jokes. Because hey, I'm not boy, they, they've cracked us up, but we yeah, just man. unable to share some of them. They're kind of spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, happy 69, Sean. <laughs> it's been a great episode, hey. bruv. Great episode. Um, and yeah, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok as well. And uh, most of all, share our episodes with one friend. All right? Cool. Peace out.